so now if you are able to see the node version and npm version then we are good to go and now we can proceed and create our application so the first step for doing that is you need to create a new folder and i am here on my desktop and i am creating a new folder let's call it bevrtc advanced app okay so i am calling my app bevrtc advanced app. now what we need to do we need to open this on terminal so here i am inside my terminal then i'll navigate to desktop okay then here i am going to again navigate inside my application that i just created bevrtc advanced app if you see this folder is currently empty okay but we need to create two things inside it the first one will be our server repository and the second one will be our client side repository okay so let's create the server side repository first of all for that you can just again go inside this folder and create a new folder so click on this new folder and i'm going to call it server okay and for the client side we don't need to create a folder because we'll be using whitejs to scaffold our application so that will take care of creating the folder for us so let's now go back inside our terminal and cd into server folder that we just created now inside this we need to first of all do npm in it okay so that we can install dependencies then start working with our server so first of all you need to write this command when you are inside your server directory okay in your terminal then after you type this command npm in it you will be prompted okay as you can see it is asking me the package name here i am going to leave it as server version 100 that will be fine for me let's leave the description as empty entry point i am going to change this one to server.js okay i am going to leave test command as empty git repository as empty i'm not going to provide any keywords author you can fill in your name i'm going to write my name shreyas okay license let's keep it isc and now it's asking if this is okay just press just write this yes and press enter okay now we have done np minute you can now write code dot okay and this is going to open up your repository in your vs code okay or whatever id that you have configured so now we have our package.json file okay the next step is to install some dependencies so here i am again inside my terminal and to install dependencies first of all you need to write this npm install and whenever you are going to send a zip file of this project to someone or if you are giving this code to someone then they just need to install the dependencies and they will be able to run your code so here we are going to get some packages okay and we'll provide this option as the shape so that these modules that we are installing are saved as dependencies so the first module that we need is course okay then this module is actually going to be used to be able to communicate a uh, cross origin okay to make cross origin request so that is why we need course after that we obviously need express because we are going to create a express node js server then for creating our signaling server we we are going to need socket.io okay and to create the turn server we are going to be using twilio so for that purpose we are installing this package and to create random user ids or ids for our room we are going to use this package called uuid okay so that's it for this video now you just need to hit enter and these dependencies will be installed now in the next video we'll set up our server okay and we'll start working inside it.